Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. I'm Tatsuhiro Ujihisa. You guys call me Uji. My talk is 13 Beam plugins I use every day. Within 15 minutes. Uh, actually, I don't have a lot that much time for talking about these 13 plugins. And actually, I probably talk more because I have uh, like, uh, like about 200 plugins I use. And I will, how, what I'm going to talk about is how do I code with this plugin. So before, before, uh, before I talk, heavy people talking about vanilla beam, like beam without plugin. I now talk about how to use beam with, uh, how to use beam with plugins. Uh, after me, Shogo, is, Shogo, who is a great plugin author, is going to talk about uh, like the creating plugin side. So uh, my talk is for to use uh, plugins. Um, I've been using a lot of plugins. It's like, uh, um, like, but I'm still using kind of old plugins, the plugins before Renaissance. But it's like achieved lots of like it achieved. It's like my beam works that I like uh, IDE. It's like uh, beam Renaissance happened before Renaissance. Anyway, um, <coughs> let's keep. <coughs> talking to my, let's keep, uh, before my main topic, let's talk about myself. Hello, uh, I'm Ujisa. I came, I came to Tokyo, Japan for BIM, just for BIMConf yesterday, like last night from Vancouver, BC, Canada. I've been using BIM for over 21 years. It's pretty long. Is there anybody who is using BIM longer than me? Okay. <laughs> uh, I started BIMConf many years ago. I'm one of the founder of BIMConf. I'm very proud of that. I, like everybody in the uh, team is like made that BIMConf because that's such great. Yeah, and this is my fifth speech at BIMConf. Um, I'm also a founder of Vital.bim, which is a library for BIM plugin authors. Um, yeah, like some, many of the famous BIM plugins are using the Vital.bim as library. I've sent some patches to BIM Core like in C. And I wrote some patches to BIM plugins, including the Neo Computer and some other plugins. I've been working at a company called Quipper Limited. I joined this company last year, uh, September 2018. It's a company for education. Um, the branches are in Japan, Indonesia, Philippines, and Mexico. Sorry. Um, I'm working independently from Vancouver, fully remotely. This the company, the project at Quipper are uh, using. Uh, uh, Ruby on Rails, Elixir, and Go. So I've been writing this like, project in, on my Vim. And I, I'm working, as I said, I'm working from Vancouver. Um, I like, literally pair program with coworkers, with team, every day with using Vim. Actually, everybody in my team has deep understanding of Vim. So um, they, they don't care about using my Vim. These are the speakers from Quipper today. I talked about uh, BIM mode uh, last year at BIMConf, uh, including the C implementation, and I did some live. This year, I don't talk about BIM core at all, but I talk about how do I code, and how do I use plugins. I will pick up a random Ruby project here. Uh, the Ruby project itself is not main, but I will talk more about the process, how do I do. So I'm going to make a, like, a super simple HTTP server, like this, like, uh, like when you listen, make a request to this URL with random query, that will respond with hello something. Blah, blah. That's it, super easy, right? Uh, this is my GBIM, BIM. Uh, I will just start from here. Let's make the font size larger because it's too small. I press uh, uh, Alt Eco, it's a command plus. That's by font zoom plugin. I change the font size often, so I install that plugin. By the way, you can see the clock on the other left. My time is uh, until 4 p.m., so when the clock shows it's 4 p.m., it's over, it's done, it's over. This is fast plugin, okay? Second, Beam Shell. Um, so uh, when I start Beam, this actually opens a Beam, se beam Shell session. This is Beam Shell. Beam Shell is Shogo, like Shogo, who is the author of like, many plugins. Shogo's second oldest Beam plugin. It's already deprecated and replaced by the old Net Beam. It's a shell and terminal implementation in pure Beam script. This is like amazing. You know that. Uh, you know that. 
um, according to BIM, like past all the version of BIM way, BIM is not a uh, share. BIM, is, BIM, BIM wasn't planning to, planning to make a terminal inside the BIM, so he, he made it in BIM script. And I've, used, I've been using this from like when it was born. So when I open BIM, the BIM shell start. And this is actually a shell uh, written in BIM. So I could, you can run some easy command like this. Right here. Like this. You can also execute some BIM command, BIM expression, BIM command. Then I open another tab that will also open a BIM shell session. And I can have a different directory, which is done by uh, tab page CD. So each tab has a different kind of directory. Uh, let's say, uh, this is vital.bim directory. And the previous tab belonged to vital.bim directory, where the first tab I opened, I, I came to git config still stays on the directory. Like, like I use tabs which represent the current project. I usually have to modify multiple projects at the same time, like this project, like, like uh, because um, the company is using microservices, has some microservices. Um, I also have to modif modify BIM RC like almost like every second. No, sorry, I, I exaggerated. Maybe less often. Uh, so I usually open multiple tabs here. I usually open BIM, start BIM at the very beginning, and. I terminate, I terminate BIM when I, like when I reboot the computer. Quick run, so let's start coding. Um, like this. Um, yeah, so let's start making a server. Let's just make a simple one. And let's try running this. Uh, let's uh, have a um, code to test it. I have five minutes left. And I can run this script from the MVM buffer directory using quick run. Space R will open a new buffer. This is not saved yet, but this can still run. Um, yeah, this is actually. Error because, oh, okay, because I gave wrong port. Yeah, it worked. Uh, anyway, uh, quick run can run a like, random pro program of the current buffer file type. So if I open a um, uh, Ruby buffer, that can print out, that can execute Ruby code like this. Or if I run uh, like C, C code, the quick run will compile and run the C code. And actually, this C code snippet was done by Deo, uh, Neo snippet with Deoprit. I, I just type the, uh, I just type HE, and Deoprit will show the code completion, and code completion has NS with of Hello World, NS is Neo snippet, and when I expand this one, that can fill the Hello World C code, and quick run can compile and write. Okay, <laughs> let's go back to the original topic. Oh, by the way, oh, before going back to the original topic, uh, I'm, use, I'm still using many of the show's deprecated plugins, um, like uh, uh, <coughs> the Snippet or uh, Unite, or many of them. I think he is going to talk about the latest updated version plugin, so I will switch to the latest version after listening to his talk. Okay. Um, Okay, uh, anyway, um, I have this process running, but I want to queue it. I can use um, unite.bim to queue it. Unite process can show the list up the processes, and I can look for the process. Oh, this is actually already dead, never mind. Okay, I have one, two minutes left, so let's just use the control C to terminate. Uh, like 
this. Okay. Oh, error. Like this. Does it work? Yes. Okay, it worked. Oh, and I can also use open browser plugin to open a, open a browser under current cursor like this, command O to open this here, this worked. I often use the open browser because the many of the command, like say when I create a new um, branch um, and push, to the, push the branch to a repository, the git will, oh, the git shows that like, like oh, git, um, Vim shell shows the git output with the GitHub pull request URL, and I can just open with this and open URL. Anyway, let's just keep going to this. Keep talking about this. I also um, use the Gina to commit, and this is an awesome plugin to make a git commit, git, show, git log stuff. And I also made a plugin called the Encrypper, which is to copy copy with line number. So if I select these lines and type control command, uh, control Y, that, that doesn't only copy the content of the these lines, but also that copies the uh, uh, current file number. This is pretty handy. Like this. Um, I have more plugins, but these are all written in the my BMRC, which is slightly less than 3,000 lines, and it's already public. It's publicly available at the github.com, register.config slash config, so it's, everybody can refer and manipulate these plugins. Anyways, um, I think that's it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>